So hello and welcome you all to Sale to MDS Dental Academy. Myself, Dr. Malay Trivedi, I am pediatric dentist and assistant professor in College of Dental Sciences. So as parents, before starting to the lecture, we are going to talk just one announcement that we are starting with the test series for NEET MDS, AIM MDS and the various government exam coming like your Punjab, your UP and Kerala exams. So as parents, our test series has few good qualities like subject wise exam we have a 21 subject wise exam we have a extra practice test we have a special mock and unit exam at the end of every month the subjects which is tough for all the students like physiology pharmacology and general medicine we are taking exam system wise we have separate image based exam numerical based exams plus i'm providing the help like whatsapp discussion group where you can put out your doubts and we have personalized guidance in planning what is that? For example, if an aspirant of 6 months are there, you should know how to plan yourself. I will help in that. I will also provide you the assessment form in which we will assess your weekly, monthly uh, performances. So, to join aspirants, you can contact me or WhatsApp me on this number or you can visit the website. So, now we will study few concepts of psychology. So, why we need to know the psychology of patient? To determine the child behavior in dental office. And how we can do that? If we know the child mental and emotional makeup, we can easily understand the psychology of that child. So, let us see how to do it. So, why child cries or throw temper tantrums by seeing dentist? Because of fear. This fear can be subjective or objective. But it is there. So let us see the type of fear. We have the fear of lack of trust, fear of betrayal in child. We have fear of loss of control, fear of actual pain or its anticipation that yes, pain will occur, fear of intrusion, fear of the unknown. So all this will control the child fear. So now imagine a small child is there, he is crying and so a lot of fear will be there in his or her mind. So we need to address each of them. So let us see the fear of unknown and fear of loss of trust. This is most commonly seen in the children between 0 to 3 years. As child will grow, he or she might have the fear of intrusion. He will think that yes, if somebody will inject LA in my mouth, it will intrude him. He might have the fear of loss of control. It means what? Imagine you, uh, the patient is sitting on the recline chair and you are changing the position of the chair suddenly you will feel fear so such loss of control can be there now you have to understand whenever the child patient come to you you have to understand his or her personal space remember that it is not nice that it is child he or she don't have the personal space it is there so till 45 centimeter he will be in the intimate zone at about 1.2 meter he will be in the friend zone and till 3.6 meter the social zone will be there. So whenever first child come to you and we are talking to him or her, you should be in this social zone. Don't try to go into its intimate zone. Don't try to curb his proxemics. If you follow this, the child will feel comfortable. So always be in the social zone to make your child patient comfortable. Now, how to know your child? By knowing what they think. So what's the best way to do that? It's a communication. So how to communicate? So between birth to two years, the non-verbal communication, baby talk or distraction you can use to catch attention. Till two to six years, the child will be talkative. They will misinterpret few words. So please never ever fear them about injection. Six to 12 years are big kids, but they have baby insecurities. So you can make them feel comfortable by the non-verbal communication and don't ever try to tell them not to cry. If you tell them, the baby insecurities will grow and they will start crying. So about 10 years, they can identify you and peer relationship. They are the key issue. Please don't lie the, lie the patient about 12 years and don't try to be one of the group unless you are. So you cannot be the friendly. You have to win their trust to become their friend. 
So friends, there is important concept that is hearing versus listening. So just not hear your child, but you should listen the child. And what the best way is to know the cognition of child. So now we'll study about the cognitive theory, which is given by the gene pager. So this theory is very beautiful. It will allow us to know what the child is knowing and understanding. So if we know this thing, we can easily break the anxiety cycle with our therapy known as cognitive behavior therapy, which is a part of your cognitive theory, which is an applied aspect of your cognitive theory. So what happens if there are few thoughts, it lead to feelings. Feelings will generate particular kind of behavior and your behavior A will intensify the thought. So you can break this cycle and you can change the behavior of the patient. Now let us understand, if a child is between 0 to 3 years, how he will be, how his brain will be. He will be like little scientist. He will try to touch, he will try to explore his or her own world. At this age, the child is like desert. Whatever the water will be there, he will absorb each and everything. So you have seen the children of between 2 to 3 years, whatever you will speak, they will try to imitate. Then the common cognitive characteristic at this age is object permanence. Means they will thought that whenever they are looking at the object, it is there. When they are stopped looking, it is not there. The another characteristic is animism. It means what? They will impart life to the non-living things. Fine. And they have symbolic thought also. So how to manage the children between 0 to 3 years? The best way, go for role play. Make the uh, his brother or sister or the another patient to see how you are treating them. So in this way, their fear will allay. And avoid any complex treatment on first visit. So they will have trust on you. Now let us see the 3 to 6 year children. At this age, the logical reasoning start. But we have few cognitive characteristics. There is lack of conservation. So he will not able to understand the difference in physical quality. So you can see this beaker example. Here the he will say yes, two beaker have equal water. But he will transfer to the taller beaker. He will consider it that the taller beaker have more water. So he don't have the idea of conservation. One more example you can see here is the if you give him the sandwich without cutting or or in one plate the cut sandwiches are there. He will try to select that cut sandwiches only because he will think it is more. So they have lack of conservation and there is beautiful thing that is centration it means they will focus on one thing only. So to manage them you can use audio visual modeling and tell should do technique then the important thing one more is egocentrism means what they will not able to understand another point of view so you can make them feel like boss and at the same time constructivism so allow them to touch and feel the surroundings so now what is the characteristic of 7 to 12 years old children remember at this period they will start developing inductive logic not deductive so what happened to such children that they will feel that they are like adult, but they have baby insecurities. So how to deal with them? You can go for tell should do technique. This is given by the ATA, that is American Taxonomy Association technique. Or you can give them instruction on concrete object. So just don't try to play around them. If you want them to open the mouth, if you want that they should not move, you sh should give them concrete object. And you can show them videos also. Why? Because at this age, age, the concrete operational period, they will be able to understand the relationship between the cause and effect. So now we'll talk about 12 years. That is formal operational period. The excellent, the biggest characteristic here is imaginary audience. So the individual believes that people around him are watching him. So you can use the peer influence. Let us have some example. So uh, there was a, ch ch a boy named Nikhil around 14 years. He felt embarrassed about his appliance. But while cleaning it, his friend felt it was quite neat and cool. So you can see how the patient uh, perception is changing just because of the peer influence. So we'll just see the review of your cognitive stages so at sensory motor stage the child will just touch the uh, glass of water at pre-operational stage he will able to say yes water is there at concrete operational stage 
he will able to understand the difference in physical qualities and at former operation stage the children have the deductive type of logic so, uh, logic so he will able to tell yes it is half empty or half full so this was all about the cognitive theory so just understand the children emotion and their mental thoughts you can easily manage them